Hello, welcome to new video of Dynasty War. In this video, I'll talk about the Huang Zhong Guajia combo. So I've made individual videos about their skill and talk about the damage they can do and the range that they can hit. So in this video, all the clips that I have, I'm using two perfected um, uh, maxed out Guajia and Huang Zhong. You can see the skill here, the damage it does, and partnerships are satisfying, the stats for them. So as I have talked about Huang Zhong's damage partnership, it's quite difficult to get so here I could do 1800 damage whereas if you don't have the damage uh, partnership you do about 1500 so that's I mean that's still a lot and it's probably enough to do um, the things I will do in this video so in this video most of them I just do um, loot beads from their exotic cabinet the storage for the beads only has 3000 something uh, HP at max level um, however, you probably won't be seeing so much so many max level uh, Exotic cabinets anyways because if you're using this combination, you're probably not um, Looking to attack a really high level base. You're looking at something around headquarter 9, headquarter 10 uh, You can still do it with headquarter 11 It really depends on the structure of the base and how leveled up your heroes are So the way to do this, uh, it's you only use archers uh, 100 archers, 110, 120 archers, depending the um, the amount of space you have in your in your army. So you clear a way for both Huang Zhong and Guo Jia to target the exotic cabinet or something near the exotic cabinet. Uh, it does not have to be next to it. It could be quite far away because um, the range of both of their skills are pretty big. It could reach two to three structures behind the original target, and um, if you have seen the two videos that I talk about how their skill are located, both of them, both of their skills orientated toward the left. So if you attack things on the right of the exotic cabinet, it has a pretty high chance that you hit at least two of arrows or, or frost, uh, and it will guarantee the whole thing, uh, you'll, you'll guarantee yourself the, all the beads that are in the storage. Because the way that um, the amount of beads that you loot from a Exotic cabinet depends on the um, percent destruction of the structure. So let's say if there's 10,000 beads available for you to loot, and if you destroy 70% of the um, exotic cabinet, you get 7,000 beads. So it doesn't mean you don't have to destroy the whole thing. So even if you don't have enough damage to destroy the whole exotic cabinet, you will still get a lot because hitting one arrow and one frost, you can destroy almost destroy the exotic cabinet. The exotic cabinet at the highest level only has 300, uh, 3,400 uh, HP. So lower level will have lower HP. And if you hit one frost and one arrow, that's at least 2,000 damage already. So you are almost guaranteed to loot all the beads if you can hit at least one arrow and one frost. And in the case that you're luckier, you can get two arrows or two frost, then you will always destroy the exotic cabinet. This is pretty easy to do. Uh, you only need more archers and clear out the way so that they can target something close to it. And even if you can't, you can still have them walk closer and auto attack and clear some stuff and then use their skill. Obviously, you have two more hero slots, which I would definitely use Zhang Wei because Zhang Wei could stun the enemy hero. Sometimes if your heroes walk too close, enemy hero will activate their skill and they could easily kill Huang Zhong because Huang Zhong has very, very low HP. Even the one I have only has 2,000 HP with all the um, HP um, partnerships as like Guo Jia is not as easy to die, but his HP partnership is also not easy to get as well. So basically, they will die pretty easily. So having Zhang Wei will give them more time to use their skill and stay alive longer. And the last hero, you can pretty much use any hero that you have that will make this um, better, help them clear out a way or do something that they do. Maybe there are a couple six star hero that has a similar uh, ability with um, to uh, Huang Zhong and Guo Jia. So you can use them as a three person combo, uh, even four four person combo. A lot of couple six star hero have that, and you can use it the same way. Obviously, they don't do as much damage as Huang Zhong and Guo Jia can do because they're lower star, and they can't. They only go up to level forty, but you can still use them this way. And a lot of people used to use this combination, uh, Huang Zhong, Guo Jia, and some, some other heroes to snipe a headquarter. However, it's easy to use Huang Zhong and Guo Jia to snipe a level 10 headquarter. Level 10, level 10 headquarter only has 5,000 HP. So if you hit two uh, arrow and two frost, the headquarter will be destroyed. And headquarter is 4x4, four four, so it's pretty easy to do that. 
or a little easier, not pretty easy. But uh, level 11 headquarters has 7,500 HP, and with the Defense Academy right now, you can boost uh, headquarter HP even higher. So it's even more difficult to do right now. This can still be done with an Awakened Hangzhou and Guozha. If you have level 15 skill for both of them, you can you can probably destroy a level 11 headquarter with two arrows and two frogs. But um, that's pretty difficult to get to. So sometimes people will use other six star hero to help you do that. But it's still pretty difficult because the average damage you can do per hit of a skill is about a little bit over a thousand damage. So you probably need to hit six um, shots on on the headquarter. So if you're Huangzhong Guoja, you hit two. The whoever the last two heroes, um, they probably have to hit at least a couple couple more thousand damage, two to three thousand damage. Um, and they don't do as much damage as Hong Kong and Guoja, so it's difficult to snipe a level 11 headquarter. But sniping the exotic cabinet is easy, or any other um, storage is easy, because you don't have to get close, activate all the skill, do the area damage, get all the loot, uh, coins, grains, and beads, and then you can just leave. And uh, your heroes will be in perfect shape, you can go raid uh, very soon, you just have to train up some more archers, and you can keep going. Uh, you may lose some prestige because of this way. However, doing getting 50% in a raid is pretty easy if you have combination uh, army composition like this. Because you have archers, you can clear a lot of things, and you have a couple heroes that do a big area of damage when they activate their skill. So getting 50% is easy. You can keep your prestige up, you can keep your heroes alive and keep doing this pretty quickly and get a lot of loot. So this is a combination really good at obviously early early game because um, that's the only way you can uh, loot beads effectively. Obviously at higher level you don't have to do that because you have stronger troops and stronger heroes that you can just um, try to attack the whole base. So this is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!